Okay, so here's a tip. Um, I use Parallels on my Mac um, occasionally. I go in there a couple times a week to do some things for work. And, um, but I use Spotlight all the time, right? So, you know, you hit, uh, what, Command Space Bar, bring up Spotlight. And I find myself launching um, applications that are within uh, Parallels, one of my uh, virtual machines. I have a few of them. So I end up launching Parallels all the time by accident because you do something like this. So let's say I'm trying to get into Slack. So I bring up Command Spacebar real quick and I type in SL for Slack. And if you look at it, it saw it there for a second. It said Slack just for a split second and then it set up, jumps into Setup Launcher. Now I'm launching Windows 10 and I gotta say, wait a minute, stop. I can close it. Uh, I gotta what, hit shut down I guess. Yeah, so I do that all the time. So I just learned today, and maybe you guys already know this, but I figured I'd share it unless in case anybody else is running into this. So if you go to System Preferences, and, well, where are you, System Preferences? Go to um, Spotlight, go to Privacy, and now open up a Finder window. Go to Applications. No, I'm sorry, not applications. You want to go to your user account. And I will show you that here. Um, my user account is this guy. And find this folder here, Applications, and then in parentheses, Parallels. Just go ahead and drag that in. It's easier to just drag it in this way than to, you know, go find it um, using the Add button. So now um, it's added here. And in theory, that should filter out anything that was found and indexed by Spotlight. Um, I also dragged in here my Parallels um, directory, which contains all of my uh, virtual machines, thinking that maybe it won't find other documents um, and files via Spotlight. I don't know if that works or not, but it seemed like a good idea at the time. Now, if I go to um, back here to Spotlight and type in SL, it seems to, it finds it, you see the setup launcher, but then it quickly goes away and jumps to what I'm looking for, which is Slack. So I think that works, and um, I hope that's helpful for anybody else using Spotlight and Parallels or other virtual machines.